I was going to buy it anyway. I was going to go ahead and buy a bag that I know I don't like the shape because I wanted the colour. <sighs> Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and today I am back with one of the videos that I really really like to watch and I think the reason that I really really like to watch these videos is because I can be a tad impulsive. Um, yeah I can be a very impulsive person. I don't always think through what I'm doing and I think that watching these videos, watching these videos of bags and handbags and things that people nearly bought and then didn't buy and were glad in the long run that they didn't buy them gives me a little bit of perspective. Helps me to think you need to think about these things. Just don't jump in there, jump on the bandwagon, see the fancy colours, see the pretty fabric and bye bye bye. You need to give yourself a minute to think and breathe. Phew, glad I got that out. But <laughs> I think these videos forces me to actually think about my impulsive nature and it forces me to look at there are bags that you nearly bought, really wanted to buy couldn't buy or didn't buy and actually you're glad you didn't buy them because it was just caught up in the moment or it was impulsive or it was settling or it wasn't the actual thing that you wanted to buy and you're now glad. So I, <laughs> yes, I am trying to work on that old impulsivity. So I have watched a few of these of other people's videos and I do, I find them really good at making me think about that and just taking a minute to breathe. And so these are my handbags that I very nearly bought or was going going to buy and just for some reason either I couldn't find them or whatever happened I didn't buy them and I'm actually glad that I didn't buy them and I'm going to take you through them now and hopefully these are my 10 bags I have 10 bags that I nearly bought and didn't buy but I'm not glad and I need to remember that um, <laughs> so I'm going to take you through these 10 bags and hopefully this can give you a little bit of perspective and give you a little bit of food for thought whenever you're thinking about buying these bags because they're so expensive that we don't want to get it wrong. We want to get the bag whenever we're spending this level of money that is what we actually want and really, really want to use for a long time and keep in our collection. So let's get started. And I have my notes with me here because I have the 10 bags written down. The first bag, and obviously I don't have these so I'll put pictures in that I really very, very nearly bought and it was pure, pure influence. It was pure power of social media, purely influenced and I nearly saw it, jumped, bought it, looked for it, to buy it, couldn't find it right away, which is what I think saved me from buying this. I think if I had saw this or found this right away, I probably would have bought it and I was buying it completely, just getting caught up in this particular bag and it is the Chanel Filigree filigree I think it's called, flat bag, um, particularly the beige and black, so the body of the bag is beige and I will put pictures in and then there's a CC in black on the front of it and there's CC in black around the edge and where I seen this video was both on Shea Whitney's channel and also on Lux Mummy, they both have this bag and it's a beautiful bag and I really 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 liked it. But I wasn't buying this bag because it's something that I had thought about or I thought that I wanted in my collection or I thought that would really work for me or was going to add something. No, 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 none of that, none of that. I just saw it on them and I thought I really, really like that bag and I want it. Now let's get on the buttons, straight on the buttons, looking at the resale and the websites and all of that for this bag. <sighs> Without even... <sighs> without even taking a minute or thinking if it was going to work. And I really, really nearly bought that. If it was there, as I say, I think I would have bought it. And it was purely being influenced by both of those um, channels or both of those ladies. And yeah, that's not good. That is not good. Like, don't get me wrong, I've bought bags where I've been influenced, but they've worked out really, really well. This one, I'm glad I didn't buy because after the initial hype, whenever I saw it on their channel and couldn't find it, I then, I forgot about it. And if a bag speaks to me and there's a bag that I get hung up on that I that I cannot find, I will not forget about it. It will torture my brain and I will be looking on the stories, looking, I will be looking for constantly this bag. I first saw this bag on Jewish Couture and on Isabel's channel and I absolutely fell in love with this bag and I couldn't find this bag for a long time, but that I didn't forget about it. Like I became obsessed with finding this bag. The filigree bag, once I couldn't find it, I forgot all about it. And that that just tells me something. So that is number one that I am so glad that I did not buy. Number two, and again, it actually comes back to this bag. 
I was looking for this bag like a silly person and I, I mean obsessed and I couldn't find it. And I knew that I wanted a trendy CC and I have said in a lot of my wish list videos or talked about a trendy CC and I really wanted a trendy CC. But I said in those videos, I didn't know what color that I wanted and I was waiting for the right color to come along and I would I would know the right color whenever I seen it. And I have since bought this one. Um, and absolutely no regrets on this. I absolutely love this bag. I love the color. It adds something different into my collection. I have a lot of pinks and reds because I love those colors, but I, I love this color and this is the right color for me in this trendy. But when I was looking for this little baby, as I say, I couldn't find it, but I did find on the Purse Affair a trendy in a color very, very similar to this. And I love this color, but I, I, Deep down, I didn't want the trendy in this colour. Now, I don't know why, because I love every single bag in this colour, apart from I just didn't want the trendy in this colour. And it was this colour with um, like a deep ruthenium hardware, which I didn't completely love the combination. And when I pictured in my head wanting a trendy and the trendy I was going to add, I knew it wasn't in that colour. But because I couldn't find this, I know. And because I love this colour so much, I nearly bought the trendy. I messaged the Purse Affair on Instagram and they sent me some messages back, but I had asked for more photos, I think, and then by the time they came back, it was sold. Thankfully, it was sold because I think I was going to buy that bag just because I couldn't get this. It was the right colour. I knew I wanted a trendy, but maybe not in that colour. And it, I love this colour anyway, so obviously I should buy that bag. No, 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 no. Thankfully, the bag was already sold and I didn't buy it. And that is especially whenever this then came along, which is the color, oh, they look really pretty together, <laughs> which is the color that I ended up knowing then that I wanted. Um, I am really, really thankful that I didn't buy that one because the trendy is expensive and I still would have been looking for this as well. And it just wasn't the right color. So that's number two and that is a big one. Number three. <laughs> We've had a lot of drama about this on this channel. So if you've watched my other videos, <laughs> you'll know the hound's tooth drama. So <laughs> I know, I know. I couldn't find this. I was obsessed with this Chanel 19 pot kettle and all this. I know. I get where I get the pot kettle in what I'm about to say. Because when I couldn't find this, I bought the wok, which is somewhere. I bought the wok and the little black pouch with it, and I still have it, and I still have this. And I have made the video when I unboxed this saying I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm not gonna make a rash decision because the world is still quite locked down. We're only coming out of lockdown. I haven't used a whole lot of my bags. I adore this tweed and I don't want seller's regret. So and a few people have messaged me to see if there's an update on this and have I decided what to do with this or the walk I haven't I still have both I haven't made a decision but when I got the walk and obviously I still looked for the 19 or the 19 was still on my mind I didn't look as obsessively before I got the 19 I was obsessed with this obsessed when I opened my eyes I checked Instagram stories for this I was obsessed um once I got the walk, that obsession died down. I wasn't as obsessed and I kind of took then the view that if one of these came up and it was meant to be, it would come up and I would see it and it would work. And that is how it happened. One of you wonderful people had messaged me to say that this was for sale. So I ended up with both. But when I was trying to get this the first time before the walk, a, this is the smallest Chanel 19. It's called a medium, but it's the smallest. The next size up, which is called the large, but it's the middle of the sizes became available and I was messaging and messaging the person that was selling it and they were saying to me oh you know it's a great size and like the the medium version of this, this the middle one or the large version it's a great size and it would fit more I'm five foot one um, and I like mini bags like look my latest obsession is this super mini in this Gucci. I like mini bags. And I know that everyone is saying the mini bag trend is going to add or is going to end and big bags are coming back. I don't care. Apart from the Neverfull and the big bag that I like to carry, I like mini bags. So the, the large size in that, which is very expensive and I nearly bought because I couldn't find the small in that bag. And I, I the, and the per, yes, yes, of course, it's good size, good size. And I very nearly gave in and bought it. I didn't, and I am so thankful for that. The walk, I can't make a decision because I actually love them both. The 19 in the large size would not work for me. It doesn't sit the same cross body. It's too big cross body. I don't, it, it, it just, it just wouldn't work for me. And that is number three that I am so glad I did not number buy. Number four is a bag that is still on my fashion file wish list. 
um, and I've said this before in videos, um, I like looking on Fashion File. I know a lot of people say their prices can be high, but I personally really like that bag there it's from Fashion File. I like Fashion File. I like looking on their website because they have so many bags and such good stock and inventory and you can keep a little following list. And I like to go and look down that and it just, you know, just passes some time. <laughs> and on Fashion File, and it's still on my wish list, but I very nearly bought it before I found this and it is the Gabrielle. And I had wanted, since I saw Fashionably Amy's, Amy's, Amy, Fashionably Amy, hi Amy. Since I saw Amy's Burgundy Gabrielle, I absolutely loved it. And then Laura, my friend, also has it and I absolutely loved it. And I wanted to find a Gabrielle in the burgundy colour. Um, that was the colour I wanted to get first. There is a tweed Gabrielle on my wish list on Fashion File and I'll put a picture in, which I really, really like. Um, I have a real thing for tweed at the minute. I have a real thing for colour. I have a real thing for pattern. And I wouldn't rule this out. As I said, it's still on my wish list. I wouldn't rule this out altogether. But I'm glad I didn't buy it at that time. Because when I bought this then. This, when this then came out and was released. If I had went ahead and bought the Gabrielle at that time. I think I had bought a bit. And I don't think I could have justified this as well as that 19. Or that Gabrielle, sorry. And also, I, this is the one that I really, really wanted. Um... So that has to go on the list of bags that I nearly bought and I'm actually glad I didn't buy it. And that maybe makes me think I maybe shouldn't buy it because I'm glad I didn't buy it, even though it's on my wish list. Um, I just, yeah, it's definitely one that needs a, a lot more thought if I was going to consider doing that. But at, that is number that is number four and I'm glad I did not buy that bag. Number five, and I still love this, but I am glad I didn't buy it. And I was buying it. <laughs> For totally, totally the wrong reason. And it is the blue lambskin mini that came out with the rainbow hardware. So it's a blue bag. I'll put a picture in. It's a blue lambskin Chanel rectangle mini. But the inside of the bag is a pink, a really, really nice pink. And the hardware on the bag, on the chain and the CC, is like a rainbow it's like a metallic -y type um hardware <sighs> i was i was buying that bag or going to buy that bag solely because i like the hardware and i'm sure you'll watch my friend deal she's fabulous she should she loves hardware and she will get drawn to bags for hardware but i was buying that bag solely for the hardware for the rainbowy uh, metallic um hardware and for the pink inside <laughs> <laughs> have you ever heard anything more ridiculous in your life have you <laughs> i was buying that bag for the pink inside and because i liked the hardware how much are chanel minis now and and that's why i was going to buy that bag oh <sighs> yeah i am so glad i didn't buy that because in hindsight it was for entirely the wrong reasons it is not a color that on its own i would really be drawn to it wasn't the shade of blue i would be drawn to it was <laughs> it would have been a mistake and i'm really glad i didn't buy that one number six and this is a bag that i actually had and returned because for once i had my smarts on um this is the louis vuitton vanity pm and i will put a picture in um whenever i did have it and i i got it i really no, I'm going to tell you a lie. I was about to say that I really, really liked it and I really loved it and I wanted to add it to my collection. That's all lies. I got caught up in the hype. I did like it, but I didn't like it enough to buy it. I think at the time it was £1,700. I definitely didn't like it enough to buy it. I got caught up in the hype. I got caught up on the talk about it. I got caught up in the pictures of it. It was very hard to get. It was always sold out. I got caught up in that. I got caught up in it being hard to get and I was able to get it. And I nearly kept it. I got it. It arrived. I checked. I tried it on. I unboxed it. I said when I was unboxing it, I don't, I don't know about this. When I tried it on crossbody, the strap that comes with it is very pretty, but the strap is too short on me, crossbody, for my liking. It's very fiddly to open. You need both hands. Very fiddly. I much prefer the Chanel mini vanity that's out and about now. Um, definitely, definitely did the right thing sending that back. Lady T-Lux had said to me at the time, only keep that bag if you love that bag more than any other bag that you can buy. And that was great advice because sending it back was absolutely the right thing to do. And I'm so glad I did not buy and keep that bag. Number seven is another bag that I was going to buy for completely the wrong reason. And it is the Bright Alma 
from Louis Vuitton in the bright orange. I love bright orange. I love bright colours. Yeah. Love bright colours. And I get drawn to colours. And I will get caught up on colours and distracted by colours. And I will go to buy things just for the colour. But when you're talking about like Louis Vuitton and Chanel prices. No, 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 no. That crazy. That crazy talk. So I was going to buy the bright orange Alma. I liked the strap. It has the, the like fabric strap with the, the writing on it. And it's really, really bright. And I loved it. And I was going to buy it for the colour. I personally don't like the Alma shape. Don't, it's just not for me. I know it's a classic bag. You won't see it be unboxed in this channel. I will not order things that I know that I, that I know that I don't like and unbox them and then send them back. I, I know I don't like the Alma shape. It's not for me. I know it's a classic and it's, it works for so many people and so many people think it's wonderful, but it's just not the shape for me. But I was going to buy it anyway. And I was going to buy it anyway because it came in bright orange. And the other Louis Vuitton bags and, and the twist didn't come in bright orange and the mini cap you seen didn't come in bright orange, the Alma did. So I was going to buy it because it came in bright orange. That's madness. And my dog just came in in case you're wondering what that was. Um, I don't like the shape. I was going to buy it for the colour. I love the colour. Now, I have since got this, which is the um, Teddy Blake bag that I unboxed a long time ago. And I'll leave a link to Teddy Blake um, in the description box because this is a great alternative if you want a particular colour or you want to try a particular style but you can't find it in th that everything matches. So I knew I wanted this colour but the Alma shape wasn't right. So this is a much more affordable option if you're looking for say a bright orange bag but the Alma isn't what you want. So this is much less expensive. Now they gifted this bag to me quite some time ago but I have been using it since and you can see it's starting um, to soften. You can see some of the creases because I do use it and I use it every time I want a bright orange bag because I don't like the Alma. <sighs> but I was going, because of this colour, I was going to buy it anyway. I was going to go ahead and buy a bag that I know I don't like the shape because I wanted the colour. <sighs> that is number, I don't even know what number on now, but that is the next bag that I am so glad that I didn't buy. It would have been such a waste of money. This one I get so much wear out of because I like the shape. And it would have just been, what is he at? He can be so rude sometimes. But yeah, that is that is the next number bag that I am really, really glad that I did not buy. Number eight. <laughs> this story is embarrassing. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Is the Louis Vuitton pochette cousin, cousin, cousin. I'm going to butcher it. So just the Louis Vuitton pochette cousin and I'll put a picture in. <sighs> I. <laughs> this is like confession time. <laughs> I was going to buy. <laughs> okay. I was going to buy this bag because if you follow Candace in Lux and Lipstick, she's fabulous and she loves colour and she has bright orange bag and she has that beautiful Chanel 19 and the bright like pink purple and she loves colour as much as I do. Only she's really, really cool. <laughs> she has blue hair and she ha like she wears, she, uh, yeah, I just would not be able to pull off everything that she can. For her it looks, and she's absolutely fabulous, but I got caught up, she was unboxing this. And in this particular colourway, I think. And she was unboxing this. And I just thought, oh, I love that. Look how cool that is. Look how cool she looks. Look how cool she looks. Yeah, I wouldn't look that cool. I have no need for this little um, pochette cuisine. I have lots of mini bags. The colourway that she picked, I think, was the blue. With I'll put a picture in. Um, and I'll link her video. Fabulous. Looks absolutely fabulous. But I was going to buy it just because when she unboxed it, this is embarrassing. I was going to buy it just because when she unboxed it, I really, really liked it. And I thought she looked really fab and she's really, really cool. So if she really, really liked it, you know, obviously it's a good buy. And <laughs> high school, I know. Um, so I, I was going to buy it and I went on the website and I was looking at it and I was, I was going to buy that bag and I'm very glad I didn't. It was caught up in the moment. It was influencer, you know, social media at its best. I did, I do love the colours. I do love the colours, but I have colours like that. And I have minis that I know I would use instead of that bag. I, do, I don't need it in my collection. It's just, I just don't need it. And that is number eight that I am very glad that I did not give in to that whim and buy. Number nine. Now this, I, her. Uh, Number nine is the Louis Vuitton twist in the MM and it's a particular one. It's in bright yellow and it has birds embroidered on it and I absolutely love it. It also comes in a wok. If the wok became available, I would potentially buy the wok because it's smaller. Um, and it's just the embroidery. It's the yellow with the embroidered birds. I think it's stunning. 
but it comes in the twist MM. And this is the twist MM. And as I've said in my other videos, I have the PM as well, which works for me fabulous. This is too big for me now. Um, I don't use long wallets anymore. I think it sits a bit too boxy. I think it sits a bit too, I know it's not big, but for me and my really like, really like small bags, I will still use this to work. It's great for work. But I, my choice is the PM, it's the smaller version. I don't think I would buy another uh, twist in the MM. I think now in my lifestyle it's just a bit too big. And the one, the yellow, the bright yellow with the birds embroidered here and here only comes in the MM or the walk. And I very nearly bought the MM because I love the colour. I love bright yellow. I'm looking for a bright yellow bag. Um, I loved the, bro the uh, birds embroidered on it. Absolutely loved it. And it only came in the MM. So I thought, sure, I'll just buy it anyway because that's the only one I can get in it. <laughs> and I know, it, I know it's too big. Even though I love the, the print, the design, it's too big. And that is number nine that I'm really glad that I didn't buy because I know that I really wouldn't have worn it because it just is too big for me at the minute. And it gets quite heavy. So that's number nine. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10 I was going to buy because it's a work of art and I really, really like it. And it's the Louis Vuitton cans bag. Um, I was in Dublin a while ago um, and I tried it on. I, I loved it when I just held it in my hand. I didn't particularly like it across me with the strap. I know that I wouldn't really use it all that much, but at the time I thought, I don't care. I'm just going to buy it anyway because it's like a piece of art and I would quite love it sitting around here somewhere in here or maybe around this desk. Like, could you imagine? Oh, I've just had an idea. Could you imagine the cans bag sitting open with the Louis Vuitton leather flowers that my SA is trying to get me to get? Um, and with the bright colored ones sitting in it. Like that would look fab. And yes, if I had that much spare money to buy the Louis Vuitton can as a piece of art to sit with the Louis Vuitton leather flowers coming out of it, I don't. I don't. I know I spend a lot of money, but I spend money on things that I intend to use. Um, I don't spend it on a handbag, a cans handbag that I intend to sit there with the leather flowers coming out of it. Um, but because I think it's a piece of art, I really love the shape of it. I do. I think it's iconic. I really think it's stunning. I was going to buy it anyway. And I was going to buy it anyway. And, and not, probably not use it very much. Um, and I came very, very close. I had it on the boutique. I was dancing about with it. And even my gut was saying to me, you're never really going to wear this bag, but it's going to buy it anyway. So that is number 10 in the bags that I am very glad that I did not buy. And this has been soul searching and it's been embarrassing and it's been a bit of crack. Um, but I hope that it is useful and gives you a little bit of insight and makes you think about some of these reasons for buying things, especially if it's because you see an influencer do it or somebody that, you know, you look up to or you think you love their style. Like Candace, I love Candace's style. I was going to buy the bag anyway. Um, and or that, you know, because you're caught up in the moment, like the vanity PM was caught up in the hype. They're not the right reasons to be buying bags. Um, and I hope this has given you just a little bit of food for thought. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.